Hi, I'm Annie and I'm okay. Today I want to talk about my daily journaling routine. In 2019, I've been keeping a journal pretty consistently, pretty much daily, with a few exceptions. The kind of journaling that I've been doing is pretty formulaic. Every day I write down my goals to reiterate them to myself. I also write down the things that I'm grateful for and I write down the evidence of my success and abundance. When I was younger, I used to use journaling differently. I used to use it to write about all the things that were troubling me or, or wax romantic about the nature of reality. When I go back and look at my old journals, which by now I've thrown away, I kept them for years and years, but I used to go back and look at them and you know, there's a lot of cringy stuff. If you read something that you wrote when you were 18 or 15 or 20, you know, it's pretty cheesy. I used to ruminate a lot. I don't do that as much anymore. It's a habit that I've broken. And I think that journaling can be a really powerful tool. If you are ruminating about things that you're worried about, these worries are just going around and around in your mind. It can be a really good idea to use journaling to get those neurotic ruminations out of your head and put them on the page and then close the book especially if those things are keeping you awake at night. You can write them down. You know that those thoughts and ideas are in your journal and they're still going to be in your journal tomorrow. You can step away from those ruminations and get the rest that you need. And then in the morning you can look at those issues with fresh eyes and get into a more solution oriented mindset and actually ask yourself, what can I do to solve these issues? How can I make progress with these issues? What are some possible solutions? So that's a way that you can use journaling. I haven't been using it that way this year because I don't ruminate as much and I tend to be much more solution-minded than I used to be. How can I improve my situation is a question that I'm asking myself daily, so I don't really use the journaling in that way. So what I am doing is reiterating my goals to myself. So it's very repetitive. I want to remind myself of my goals until I accomplish them. You move towards what you're aiming for. So if you're not aiming for anything or you don't know what you're aiming for, you're probably not going to make very much progress. So it can be repetitive, just relisting the same goal over and over every day. And sometimes I might accomplish a goal and then I don't need to relist it. The other thing that I do is list the things that I'm grateful for. I tend towards pessimism. I have mastered the downward spiral. I get into this negative thinking and it leads to more negative thinking and more negative thinking. And all I notice are the things that I am dissatisfied with. But the downward spiral is a choice. You can also choose to notice the good things in your life and it kind of puts you on an upward spiral. You want to stay on that upward spiral because it's more comfortable. So even though keeping a gratitude journal felt kind of cheesy to me and unnatural at first, I kept doing it because I know that pessimism and noticing all the negative things is just a program that's running in my head and I can decide to change the program and change the habit. And so it might feel a little unnatural or cheesy at first, but I just kept doing it and I do feel better this year in 2019 and I am accomplishing more. As I was practicing this daily gratitude journal, I got an idea to create a separate category in my journal. And this is evidence of my success and abundance. I'm a small business owner. I have a private massage therapy practice. And anytime you run your own small business, you're taking risks every day. You are really putting yourself out there. You have to experiment and try things. And you know, a certain percentage of those things are not going to work. So running your own small business involves so, so much failure. I've been a small business owner for 14 years. Over time, all those failures start to stack up and you can start to really feel like a failure. And so if you are not going out of your way to notice your successes and appreciate the abundance in your life, then you can really start to feel like shit, you can feel like a complete loser. So I started noticing evidence of my success and abundance. And these can be really simple things like I made a goal to run at least four times a week and I nailed that goal this month. That's a win. That's really amazing. I deserve kudos for that. And so it's my job to give myself kudos. 
or it could be that I had a really good interaction with a client. Maybe a client says to me, I feel so much better since I've been coming to see you. I really appreciate the work that you do. That's a win. You want to remember that. We have a tendency to remember the negative things and the failure. Those are the things that we notice. We are biased towards that. That's human nature. But you can override that program by noticing the good things, keeping track of what you're grateful for, and keeping track of your success. So that's what I've been doing this year and it still feels cheesy to me at times. And there are even times when I need to step away from the gratitude journal. I mentioned that in another video. September was a very difficult month for me and I noticed that writing in my gratitude journal just felt really forced and it was kind of making me feel worse. And so I just took a break from it. I felt like that's what I needed to do and so I did that for myself. So tell me what daily journaling exercises are you using? Let me know in the comments.